So today we have lost a strong voice in our media fraternity. Karima Brown will be remembered by our viewers as fearless, fierce, deeply insightful and a strong political voice. But she was so much more than that. And who she was was rooted in activism and fighting the injustices of apartheid. Someone who's known her for many years is Fayez Jacobs, fellow former youth activist and also a family friend. He is the Member of Parliament for Greater Athlone in Cape Town and joins us now. Good evening and, and thank you so much for your time on an extraordinarily difficult day. It is not easy to talk about these things publicly. Our deepest condolences for your loss. I wonder if you could take us back to the early days of Karima Brown, uh, how she started out uh, when you first met her and her early days in activism. Thank you, Sally, and uh, our condolences to the nation. I think we all mourn her loss. Um, she's, she was... Uh, a figure for all of us. I mean, I know her for the, for more than 30 years now. First as a student activist, our paths crossed on the Cape Flats. She was one of those daughters of the Cape Flats and Western Cape Flats, really had a deep footprint in, in, in all of her life. Uh, we started out as youth activists in the 80s generation. Our generation was one that said, uh, freedom of death be three certain. She was uh, one of the psycho leaders of African Youth Congress leaders. Um, that brought about uh, and fought for um, the anti-apartheid struggles. We were youngsters then, and our paths uh, crossed, but we stayed in contact. Uh, I remember fondly following her journey and her role to, in, in professionalism, and we still remain committed to, to that. So she will be sorely missed. Uh, we, we, we kept vigil here in the Cape. We, 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 um, through social media, our thoughts and prayers was with the family. And when we heard the news this morning, I think we all um, was deeply saddened. But I mean, we must also celebrate the life. Uh, here is someone, a real uh, uh, South African, really feisty, really believed uh, in the goodness of our country. Yes, we are a crazy, beautiful country, but she felt that um, we there's, there's a lot to fight for. Um, and her generation, and she will always be remembered in our hearts. It must have been an extraordinary time uh, to be um, an activist on the Cape Flats in the 1980s, such a, a crucible um, of experience. Was she always fearless, outspoken, strong-minded, or did that experience uh, bring that out in her? Look, she, from, from a young age, she was a leader. She was a natural leader. I mean, I, I found um, she was one of my mentors. I was a few years younger than her. She fought injustice. She fought uh, for gender activism, for equality. And that culture went through throughout. I mean, uh, that, that collectivism that she brought in when she decided to leave uh, uh, um, Cape Town and pursue the career of part of the reconstruction and development as young professionals then. She made a career for herself, but she always knew that the transformation of our society, the fight and the pursuit for non-racial, non-sexist, inclusive process South Africa was something that our generation fought. And she always believed that. Yes, she was always fighting. Yes, she always had her own opinions. And that's how we love and know her. Um, we didn't agree all the time, but that was just the nature of our relationship as comrades, as friends. I mean, now during the lockdown, we started as we just playing activists. We, we started a, a feeding scheme, feeding more than 30 community feeding schemes. And when we reached out to her, she, without even putting a name to it or wanting to be known, she, she helped. She always fought for the underdog. She always was there for the voiceless. Um, she will be missed. Absolutely. And, 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 you know, a woman very strong, very fierce, not afraid of a confrontation, as you say, but also incredibly compassionate and kind-hearted. I will remember her laugh. She also loved food and loved talking about food. There was an incredible warmth uh, to Karima Brown as well. I'm wondering if you can perhaps tell us if there's one memory of her uh, that will stay with you through the years to come of Karima. We, we, we would normally gather... Uh, when we come back to our hometown in, in Cape Town over the New Year's festive season, then we would be relaxed. Um, we buried a friend now recently, and uh, we have fond memories where we, we say that our struggle is not yet uh, completed, and uh, we have fond memories. We sat over fires, we engaged, we had many prize, 
Um, so I think we will remember her legacy. We will remember her role, not only as this big icon of a, of a media icon, but also as a friend, as a sister, as a mother, as a, as a comrade, a true revolutionary and a proud South African. And um, we say thank you to, to all of, of, of the outpourings of condolences and love and solidarity that, that South Africa has shown to her. Uh, we really appreciate this time and in, 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 in this time of mourning. Thank you. And thank you for talking to us this evening. Much appreciated. That was Fayez Jacobs, fellow former youth activist and family friend of Karima Brown. He is the MP for Greater Athlone in Cape Town. Of course, Karima leaves behind her son Mikhail, her sisters and her brother Zayn Samar. She died this morning after weeks in ICU battling COVID-19.